Hey guys, it's Miss Ferguson coming to you from my really messy basement right now. Uh, I wanted to give you guys a quick summary of what our virtual classroom looked like today. It lasted about 45 minutes. It was a really long session. So I wanted to kind of do a condensed version for those of you who didn't get to make it and those of you who did, so you kind of have a refresher course of what we talked about. So let's first start with our I can statement so we know what our objective is today. All right. I can show addition and subtraction using fingers. All right. First off, what does it mean to do addition? That's right. You got it. Addition is when we put things together. Now, what are some words that I might hear that let me know I'm going to do addition? Yep, that's a good one. I might hear add. Oh, I like that one. In all. Nice, together. Who said that? Mm-hmm. How many? You guys are so smart. All right, well, let's move on to the subtraction part and see what we know about that one. So subtraction means I'm going to, that's right, I'm going to take apart. Now, what are some words that might tell me to take apart? Minus. Mm-hmm. Our left. I like that one. Difference. All right, anybody else got anything? Let's see here. Can we think of something else? Hmm. Let's see here. We've got minus, our left, difference, take away. Nice. All right. So real quick, when we're doing addition, we're taking two separate objects, numbers, and we're making them one big one. And when we do subtraction, we're going to take that one big number and we're going to break it into two smaller numbers. So the hands-on activity we did today for addition and subtraction was we made hands of our own. You guys know my hands are not that big, right? But I was trying not to draw myself with a marker. So I took my hands and I can see here I've got two hands and that equals a total of how many fingers? 10, good job. So with addition, I would start with one number. And let's say the number I wanna start with is five. And then my other number is gonna, on my other hand is gonna be, let's say two. Now right now that's not two, but if I fold my fingers down, I can show two fingers. Looks like bunny ears. So I have five and two, and if I count that, I'm gonna start at five, I'm gonna count on five, six, seven. So five plus two equals seven. Awesome, and we can do that with a multitude of numbers up to 10 because we've got 10 fingers on our hands. But what about if we wanna show subtraction? So I'm gonna start with one big number, and I'm gonna start with the number eight. So I've got five on one hand and three on my other hand to show my eight. But now I'm going to take some fingers away to show my subtraction. And I want to take away four fingers. So eight, I'm going to take four away. One, two, three, four. Leaves me with four fingers. So I started with eight, I took four away, and I'm left with four. So we're bending those fingers up and down to either do addition or subtraction. We want our subtraction to stay 10 and under right now, but if you want to make another set of hands so your addition numbers can be larger, feel free to do that. And always, if you guys have any questions, please contact me or Miss Pence, and we will see you guys later. One more time, just before we leave, let's go over this I can statement. I can show addition and subtraction using fingers. With that addition, we put those objects together. And with that subtraction, we took them away. 
and those fingers that we used were the ones we made with our hands today. I'll see you guys later. Have a good day.